Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now today I'm going to make some uh, little lemon yoghurt uh, cookies. These would be little uh, sausages of dough that I form into a, a circle with a hole in the middle which may close up a little bit during baking but that's fine. So a nice light cookie. I'm doing this simple recipe um, at this time because with the coronavirus that we have going around at the moment it's very difficult to get ingredients so I don't want to run out and then have nothing that I can use uh, to bake and put onto the YouTube channel so I'm going to try and keep it a little bit simple and see how things go. So um, the the recipe is quite straightforward only a few ingredients which luckily I already have uh, in the cupboard and I start off by preheating my oven to 180 Celsius, that's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit, and I've lined a couple of baking trays with parchment paper. So for the ingredients, I have 300 grams of plain flour, which is two cups uh, plus about two tablespoons. And as you mix it, if the dough is feeling a little bit wet, you can add a little bit more because some people's cup measurements are different to others. Um, I have 120 grams of uh, natural or plain yogurt. I have 90 grams, sorry, 120 milliliters of that yogurt, not grams, and that works out at half a cup. 90 grams of caster sugar, uh, and that works out at half a cup minus a tablespoon. I have the uh, medium egg which would be large in the USA. I have 50 grams of butter which I've melted and that's two and a half tablespoons. You could use oil if you wanted but I prefer the taste of butter in my biscuits or cookies. I have um, the seeds from half a vanilla bean and I have the zest from one lemon. Two teaspoons, eight grams of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And I'm going to put the salt and the baking powder and I'm going to put the lemon zest and the vanilla bean into my flour all at the beginning. And I'm going to whisk that around just to get those incorporated a little bit. And the vanilla bean may not break up, but you'll do a little bit of kneading later, only for a few seconds, which will help spread that vanilla bean if it needs to. And so, uh, then I'm going to put the sugar in and just mix that around as well. And after that, the egg. And I'm going to mix that around. And then we'll put the yogurt in as well. And then the final ingredient is the melted butter. And we just want to mix this and then use our hand to pull it together into a dough. And that's beginning to come together so I'll use my hand now and just work that until it's all nicely combined. And 
And that's quite good. I'll finish that on the work surface. And that's quite good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flour. I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of flour on the surface. And I want to cut this dough into about 20 pieces. And I have 620 uh, three grams so that would be about 31 grams for each piece but you can eyeball it if you want to And then as you have your pieces of 31 grams, I want to roll them into a sausage shape like that. And then I'm simply going to turn them into a circle and pinch them together. Like that and place them on my baking tray. Just like that. So I have my two trays and I've spread the, um, the dough out and I found that if you roll the sausage so that it's thicker in the middle and narrower at the ends it, it looks better when it's joined together. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 22-23 minutes until I'm fairly sure that they've baked through, I take them out um, and let them cool for a couple of minutes then transfer them to a wire rack and then once they've cooled down completely I'll come back and show you the results. I baked our uh, yoghurt cookies for 22 minutes, I let them cool down for two minutes on the baking tray and then transferred them to the wire rack and this is what they look like. Um, they bake very nicely and uh, they colour nicely on the bottom as well. I've broken into one. Hopefully you can see that. And they're firm on the outside, but they're nice and soft in the centre. So I'll have a taste of this. These are very good. I think they're ideal uh, with a cup of tea or I mean some people like to have dip biscuits in milk or hot chocolate or something um, but for me I would happily dunk these in tea and have them in the morning uh, perhaps. They have a, a hint of lemon, a small hint of vanilla and they're not overly sweet, there's not that much sugar in them. Um, so these are ideal for snacking I think. 
It's a very simple recipe, very easy to make and doesn't take very long at all. So I recommend that you give these a try. And that's going to be it for uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to this recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So in, in the meantime, please try to stay safe from coronavirus and if you have the ingredients, happy baking.